Now in this question then, we're given this particular table and we've got to fill in the values for y when x is 2 and 2.5, which you'll see I've done for you. Dead easy, all you've got to do is just simply substitute x equals 2 into y equals x natural log x. So these are the two answers you should get. Remember you've got to round them up to three decimal places. Now in the next part, we've got to use the trapezium rule to find the area of R then. And uh, hopefully you're familiar with the trapezium rule. Basically, just quickly remind you, here it is here, that the area under a graph is approximately the same as working out the width of a strip divided by 2. And when we talk about strips, what we're meaning is that in this particular example, for instance, if we were to look at these values, we'd have x equals 2 here and say x equals 3 and there'll be 1.5 here, 2.5, 3.5 and we've got strips coming up through here, if I can just draw them on, something like this, okay, and what we've got to do is then look at the width of a strip which you can clearly see is going to be half a unit that's uh, you can see from the table as well it's going to be half a unit between each x value divide the width by 2 and then you do the first height that would be this value here which in this particular example is 0 the first height the y value 0 and then you've got to do plus 2 times the sum of all the middle heights that's this height plus this one this one this one this one in other words simply add together all these middle y values from 0.608 to 4.385 and then add the last height, this one here, that one up there. Okay, well to save time what I've done is I've done that calculation for you and should be able to follow that through and uh, you've got to give it to two decimal places so it turns out to be 7.37. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps you out.